Hello everyone, back with an EDD update. Now as the EDD continues to send out those PUA work history documentation requests, they have issued further clarification through an update in regards to what documents they are accepting. Now this comes after reports from claimants informing them previously submitted documents were being rejected. So we're going to take a look at that update. Now even though there were some W-2 wage earners who were placed on a PUA claim, a majority of PUA claimants were previously self-employed. So for those previously self-employed, your federal tax return continues to be your best option along with the Schedule C form. Now the Schedule SE form, like seen here, is also recommended along with business licenses and employer ID numbers. The problem some self-employed PUA claimants who filed for PUA in 2020 are having is they only have their 2020 tax returns to submit which are being rejected. That is because the EDD cannot determine what work and income you earned prior to the start of that PUA claim. If that is your particular situation, you will need to submit additional information. Now that documentation can include business receipts and invoices for items such as office space, utilities, business licenses, and insurance. Receipts and invoices for inventory and equipment, employee salaries, advertising, legal and accounting services, and even website design are acceptable. Other items include signed statements verifying self-employment, which do not require a notary, and this is despite earlier reports of those being rejected. Contracts and agreements and bank statements from a business account clearly showing transactions for self-employment activity are also accepted. Now, if you plan to begin self-employment and that was interrupted because of the pandemic, then you will want to submit copies of items such as business licenses, business plans, lease agreements, and employer ID numbers to fulfill that document request. Now, if you were on a PUA claim and were previously a traditional W-2 employee, the EDD continues to advise you to submit paycheck stubs, W-2 forms, and earning and leave statements. I would also recommend setting these items with your federal tax returns. Now, if you had planned to begin a traditional job and that was interrupted due to the pandemic, then you will want to submit proof of being offered employment. Items such as an employment offer letter should include your name, the employer's name and contact information, information on the position, and scheduled start date. Do keep in mind this information is subject to change and to visit the PUA documentation page on the EDD website for further information. Also, we continue to get reports of the EDD incorrectly rejecting allowable documentation, so we will continue to monitor that and other EDD-related news. In the meantime, make sure to click on that subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.